Welcome back to a brand new vlog my name is Derry. if you're not watching me for the first time i know you already know that's my name guys i'm currently in dakar in senegal and i'm touring the city enjoying myself learning about your culture it's in their food and i will not even lie to you guys it's been an experience i've learned so much that i hope to share with you guys as this vlog goes on Currently, I'm on my way to the African Renaissance Monument and I vlogged my way there. After this, I think we went to the marks. If you guys see this vlog first, it's because this is the first one I edited. Guys, there's going to be so much content. I hope you guys will love, enjoy and watch them because generally, it's going to be a lot, guys. So guys, let's go to the monument. I know you guys are wondering why this monument is so special, why we are going all the way to go and see it. But there are a few reasons that I will share with you much later. But the first one has to be that it's the tallest in Africa. So it makes Africans like myself very, very excited. <laughs> So the African Renaissance Monument is allegedly Africa's highest statue. The monument was unveiled in 2010 and it was done to, you know, commemorate Senegal's 50 years independence from France. What an amazing, beautiful statue, guys. Guys, the statue is about 49 meters in height. It is taller than New York City's Statue of Liberty and Rio de Janeiro's Christ the Redeemer. Wow. <laughs> interesting to notice that from the top of the monument you can almost see the all of the city of dakar so all the houses is also very breezy on top guys when you're up there like i tried to like speak for some part of my video but it wasn't even successful because it was super breezy guys like it was a lot of breeze it almost felt like whenever like because it was so high up 
and apparently you can actually take the elevator and then be on top of the statue like on top for we didn't even i don't think i would have wanted to do that because i would have been super scared but yeah that was very possible and i'm sure it, it might have been free as well i did a little photo shoot apparently when i was walking up the stairs um some guy came to um you know introduce himself to me and he was like he wanted me to take pictures for his brand you know i did that actually i wore the t-shirt for him took nice pictures but i i, I wore the t-shirt after he took pictures of me in my dress so he took pictures of me and he's supposed to send that to my instagram as well it was so much fun i wore the outfit looks nice he's on instagram i think he does the sweatshirts and t-shirts yeah this was me just wearing a t-shirt to enjoy myself being a model modeling for free apart so yeah at this point we're just enjoying the view it was just very beautiful to build i'm not even going to lie it was very very peaceful up there we liked it we enjoyed it and would we go back um maybe not <laughs> Hey guys, we're exploring Dhaka City.
so we're off to the next location which is the marks baby is it the biggest marks in africa no 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 not the biggest oh this is a park The next location was the Mox of Divinity. The reason why this Mox is a bit special, not even a bit special, the reason why this Mox is special and you should definitely visit it is because it has a very distinctive color, very distinctive building structure. It's also on the beach of Okam and you can also see the Atlantic Ocean right in the Mox. Like if you're in the Mox, you can see. I couldn't get in the Mox because I was wearing something really short. And non-Muslims are not allowed in the mock, so I literally just had to stay outside. In fact, I had to beg my husband to do this recording for us. So yes, guys, this is the beautiful mock of Divinity. It looks really beautiful. It was really, really nice. I loved the structure. Like, it was super beautiful. It was easily spotable. It had, like, boats at the back. So that's how I even know that is on the beach. Yes, guys, after this, we were literally just driving home and then I spotted a plaza on our way home and I was like, okay, I need to visit this one.
Ještě jde u nás. Anytime we go shopping.